things going. But uh, and I'm sure that he's got down throw forward air to finish. Uh, yeah, that should work. I think. It works for Doc and Melee, and yeah, he he knows to use the down air as a good zoning tool. Yeah, that's I think that's going to be a big factor in this it's, match. It, it's it, Mario's most improved move for yeah, sure. Yeah, it just cuts through things really well. The fireball is really solid too. So yeah, they're pretty even. We know that with Mario's power, he's going to be able to kill with the forward air or forward mm -hmm. smash. Nice forward smash from him, keeping the game. Exactly even in terms of percent. I lied. Little oh no, I didn't. <laughs> exactly. I'm the best. <laughs> yeah, Chad's doing a decent job of weaving around Hungry Box's spacing. Neither of them are getting big openings, but it, I was talking to Chad earlier. He says he really likes Mario's jab. You can just follow up anything with jab and it makes it safe. Yeah, Hungry Box is doing really good stuff with Jigglypuff's down air. Uh, Fro said that you guys ported a lot of the frame data. Yeah, so for melee top tiers especially, which includes jigs, we were. I, our goal is to make them work just like melee, because it's it's a good baseline for yeah. the rest of the characters. And then you can you can pick some stuff to tweak. I noticed rest isn't quite as strong. Uh, it's exactly as strong. Actually. Really? Yep. I was seeing. I, th I guess. Well, you made the game, so I guess you know more than me. It's yeah. It, the data was ported exactly from Melee. I mean, there are still some small general mechanics issues that can make things work a little differently, but okay. it is identical. All right, yeah, he's getting up air chains. Hungrybox is in that sweet percent where he can't really get away, and he can't get up from them either. He's chatted a minor advantage as long as he doesn't get hit with any critical back airs to push him off the level. Oh. He's making the right choice of DIing low to the ground so the yeah. back air chain can't start. Yeah, that jab really fast. Hungrybox, good awareness. Oh, oh well he gets the Hungrybox. edge. Chad looks disappointed. <laughs> yeah, he's going for hugs. There we go. This. Did you buff Mario's up smash for that? Is, that is Doc's up smash. So when he hits someone on the ground, it spike bounces them, which gives them a lot more time to combo. Okay. That's why it doesn't really work that well on Jigs because she's Jigs, but on a lot of characters, you can uh, get that into forward air kill percent. Okay. I will remember that. Yeah, right now. I think Jigglypuff is basically out of any kind of combo opportunity. Eats the back air, oh. bad DI, completely makes up for that. Yeah, Mario always had trouble killing in melee. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely got some more options here. F Smash kills much earlier. And it's also got a significantly more noticeable pullback than it does yeah. in melee because of that brawl effect. Did Chad lose his double jump? He did not. He thought he did, but he touched down. You could see that in the way that his up B had a little boost to it. Yeah. He was a little worried there. Oh, there we go. Forward air into forward air. You know? Uh, do you know how Mario's forward air works? I've seen the that when he, they're on the ground, it does a little pop-up like it's, it's his forward air from melee. And then when they're in the air, I almost always see it have the dock effect. Yeah, it's actually both in both cases, but the, okay. the timing is different. It, it's purely timing based. At the beginning, it hits like Doc's, and towards the end, it hits like Mario's. Okay. And just on the ground, the timing is uh, a little different to make it uh, a, a bigger window for the Mario hit. For more setup. Yeah, because yeah, the spike bounce off the ground is a great setup. Oh, really nice job from Chad. Yeah, Dodging. I was impressed with he that recovery. He threaded the needle. <laughs> It was Especially against Hungry Box, you, yeah, that was a you, great you have smash. no room for error. Yeah, he is. Wow. Another forward smash. Just perfectly spaced. And Hungry Box went right into it. Yeah, he he's just expecting Mario to start moving. <laughs> Hungry Box looking a little flustered. And stuff like that always looks a little goofy, but you got to remember the better players, they're trying to space around where they think you're going to move. So sometimes just not moving can throw off really good players. If you're if you're not a really good player though, you're only ever gonna get it by accident, <laughs> and they'll catch on. All right, so I'm expecting Lonely Island to start playing music any moment now. <laughs> yeah, Chad, 
Interesting counter pick by uh, Hungry Box. I guess he's going for the very large boundaries and ceiling. Yeah, since he gets a lot of his kills on people off of the really powerful forward smash, which isn't as affected by the boundary difference as. Uh, a cute oh, tech chase! I, I don't know why Chad went for that. That was uh, really risky. He just he just assumed Hungry Box was going to turn a little faster, and so he went for a psychic change on uh, psychic prediction. Yeah, but if you get hit by that forward B, it's going to cost you. And it did. Whoa. Hungry Box just falls into another smash. So yeah, Chad, he's doing a really good job of resisting the urge to just run into stuff. He's willing to stand still when Hungry Box is playing outside of his range and then pick the right time to move. Oh yeah, you gotta play patient against someone like Hungry Box. You don't wanna play his game. So what's your opinion on super armor uh, with grabs trading against hits? It's, uh, did anyone explain to you how it works? It, it's, it actually works, uh, it, the priority of certain things is different. I mean, in no case will you grab someone that you wouldn't have grabbed in melee. Okay. It actually the, the grab itself works exactly the same. The difference is that it registers the damage okay. first. In melee, the grab would have just won, and so, you would never would have noticed. Okay, so it's not super armor per se. No, it's, it's, we it's, call it grab armor. Okay, it's, it's actually a benefit to the person attacking because yes. they're at least getting a bit of percent out exactly. of it. Exactly. Okay. And that is something from Brawl, but uh, something we haven't looked too much into because it's not really... I mean, it throws off melee players because they, they think people are just armoring through their attacks, but that's not really and, the case. Oh, Hungry Box descends on the up smash. He's just not anticipating it. And Chad, very proud of himself. And now he's stuck against... Is that just the the walls bricks? here? You can go through them if you're running, but not if you're walking. Huh. So it's a little weird. Just one of the things we've done to try to make this stage more competitive, though. So that you I'm still not a big fan of it, personally. Yeah, it's I mean, we've gotten rid of most of the, all of the ones actually that can hurt you. All the yeah. transformations. I'd be trying to commentate on the match, but right now it's more of the same. <laughs> Not yeah. to be a jerk. <laughs> we saw Hungry Box hit with the down smash. First one we've seen all tournament. Out of Jigglypuff. And yeah, he's, he just starts ushering Chad off the level. Doesn't want to eat the up B, so he just opts to let him back. He's really good at pinning people on the edge of the level, giving them room to hang themselves with. So, you know, he's not as worried if Chad does make it back on. But to be fair, yeah, we first back here, right? Yeah. And Chad is currently behind, so Hungrybox just wants to trade at this point. Yeah, he's just playing it safe, poking with back airs. So okay, Chad I see gets what you mean. Off. That was the very start of the forward air, mm -hmm. and he was in the air. So, oh. all right, yeah, that little down air vacuum, good for getting down. A forward smash uh, doesn't he, he DI lives, it, but that's yeah, the that counter pick at work. Bad, yeah. <laughs> good cross up, regains control of center stage. Uh, the spring. <laughs> Goofiness with the springs. I have not seen it do anything but ruin everything. Like, ugh. It just... It's kind of silly, yeah. It, it's got that little bit of lag, and then... Is there a way to control the height you get off of it? I don't believe so, but you can act as soon as it shoots you up. Okay. Nice work from Hungrybox. Well timed back here. Eats an up smash. Doesn't die. Again, the stage really working for him. Oh, here we go, the wind. Everyone's least favorite transformation. They're they're making Bob Seeger proud and they're running against the wind. <laughs> and Chad oh, just eats it. The end of him. Wow. Oh he he's nearly threaded that needle, but Yeah, hungry box. It's that melee, it's that melee experience, man. So Chad seems to know Oh no, Hungry Box was banning the small stages, I believe. The that right, middle, he does middle row. He's still getting taken off guard by certain hits uh, because of the difference in how they work, I guess. He's going to be really surprised with the new Link, I think. New Link is just a little bit faster, and his his moves just really flow and reach. Oh, yeah. He's still got the gravity issues. Hungry Mox might get some rests here. Ha! That was a very interesting little trick with the bomb. Rest? Is it? 
Is it? No, no he's, he's just going to play it safe. And he ran ah. out of jumps. And he shouts, no. Yeah, his combo was strong. He picked up a massive wow. amount of percent. But then you he can see how uh, how disjointed the back air was there. We ported that straight from Mela. He just back aired a bomb and did not get hit. <laughs> That's how disjointed that is. Uh, that may have been unnecessary. Link was at, what, 130, 140? Yeah, a forward smash or a down smash, for that matter, would have sent him, would have done all the work he needed. But yeah, the wall of projectiles right now, working in Chad's favor. That's I saw you pick Ooh. FD against uh, against Vro, right? With yeah. Link. Yep, that's the match I uh, took from him. Yeah, you were really working the projectile game on that one. Yeah, it's it definitely is in Link's favor if he doesn't have to worry about platforms getting in the way. All right, I see what you mean about the strength of it being unchanged. I guess we were just seeing really good DI from the people who were getting hit by it before. Oh, that was nicely cute, done by Cute Chad. little wave land. <laughs> Down throw up air. He's got a finishing combo. It's not often you see Hungrybox get scared into his shield like that. Especially against someone like Link, where you imagine he'd be crouching. Yeah. But then again, he doesn't want to be caught DIing those KO moves badly. Can you crouch under Link's up B? No, I'm fairly sure you can't. All right. If he knows that, then that may explain why he's avoiding crouches at those higher percents. Yeah, up B will kill fast. Nice. Little combos like that, they make the big difference against Jigglypuff. Oh, yeah. It's always nice if you can convert it into a kill move, but you take 30% against Jigglypuff is the same as 60% against someone else. It's it's a big deal. Yeah, Hbox seems to be having trouble getting in, getting the pressure on. Yeah, here. well, people have always camped Hungry Box. Oh, uh, uh, and he overestimates the grapple recovery. Definitely had time to fall closer to the edge and get it, but yeah. just got overconfident. And now that he's paid Hungry Box back for his SD, the game is in Hbox's favor. Nothing around. Good evasion on the grapple, but... Yeah, he does not want to get grabbed because that is going to be a kill. Yeah, he's got down throw up air, which is... Does he have that kind of KO combo on a lot of characters? Oh, yeah, yeah. Link's, okay. Link's down throw is vicious. All right, that's a tremendous uh, buff. A hungry box. Deciding he decides not. against the rest. Yeah. He doesn't want him to live, lose the stock, and only get a few percent for it. Right now, Chad's working with the projectiles to keep him safe, but Hbox is at a percent where any move would kill him. So it's really not about the percent. There it is. Dash attack. It's about the dash attack. Much improved. All right. Right now, while he has invincibility, he wants to weather the projectile storm and get in. And he's he's got him on the ropes, but he's he's back to neutral. Chad has the projectile game going for him again. Hungry Box opens him up, but he doesn't get the turnaround into that grab. He's missing those little links that are going to get, uh, well, Link off the level. <laughs> Chad just DI's that unwell, but uh. Is that is that something that happened? Okay, right, so we just received news. Oh, yeah, you Axe can... uh, just beat Dark Rain 3-0, which I can't say I wouldn't expect. I think Axe is definitely more familiar with the game. Yeah, he's been getting a lot of play time with it. Hungry Box takes game. Why does that say three? Th Chad yeah, is actually Chad. up. Uh, Chad has one game yeah. to his name, so this, the overlay is now correct. Okay. Thank you, Gimmer. He's going to take him to Battlefield, and he switches to Fox. Oh, boy. That's, uh, I see a lot of melee players doing that. Okay, it looks like uh, Vro has beaten Kage 3-1. to one. So one of our more dominant players as well, Kage, has uh, given up a set to Vro. As far as I know, Vro is Undefeated, king of the pool yeah. right now. Hungry box, <laughs> more Hungry. than happy to play melee here. He is, yeah, he he's loving it. Some things you never lose. Yeah, but I have seen a lot of melee players, even when they, even like Chad, when they like to try try these new characters. If they're faltering, they go back to the they melee. go back to what they're comfortable with. Yeah, and which I I do expect to happen a lot uh, this early in the metagame, especially. 
people who aren't actively practicing it, like Vro. Particularly because, as you said, they're, it's just a direct port, minus yeah. the tiniest of tweaks, depending on the characters. Mm -hmm. Hungrybox Box falls part. into it. That's Chad's willing to stand still. Not a lot of people do that against Hungrybox, especially Spacey's, so he's picking up hits that uh, it's kind of surprising that he picks up. You know what? Chad did a... Chad's done a really good job Ooh, uh, this tournament, pick, uh, doing really well against really good players. He beat Hacks in the winner's bracket. In Melee? In Melee. And Impressive. here he is in top eight of PM. So. Yeah, it's been a good tournament for him. All right, he's getting into his Fox groove, controlling space with his speed. Hey. Hungry box. Spacey Slayer. Doing what he does at the best. But he pays for it, but I don't think he minds. He can keep going for that. Yeah, he's definitely content to trade stocks. All he's got to do is throw Chad off the level and just the melee memories take over. A lot of dancing around. No solid pickups right now. Yeah, Chad is in and out. He doesn't... He's... Oh... Uh. It's not quite enough to KO, but it doesn't even up the percent, if not the stock. Nice uh, low tech by Chad. Mm -hmm. Stay on the stage. Yeah, you cannot afford to be knocked off the level at this point in any way, shape, or form. And now he's starting to eat back airs. It's, yeah, he's it's lost the hungry box stage. effect. <laughs> he's up, backed up against the corner here. He's probably going to try and recover with forward B. Oh, no. Oh, he forward air. <laughs> uses Surprise. the crazy legs. It still has a little more reach than neutral air, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. An impressive up air from Chad. It's not impossible, but it is going to be an uphill battle. He's pretty much going to not be touched. Oh, oh. that's probably going to be the stock. Yeah. yeah, he wants to dodge the back air, and he ends up finding the bottom of the level instead. 